I'm responsible for leading ARMY's Quantum Technology Roadmap. So this is ARMY's approach to rapidly identifying where quantum technologies will impact land warfare and experimentally invalidating those ideas and in the process driving forward sovereign industry and our ability to deliver that in the hands of a soldier. DSCG is taking those emerging technologies out of the lab so that we can demonstrate them in operational context and environment so that we can de-risk future acquisition programs and get those technologies where they show merit into the hands of the warfighter. Army, as part of defence, has taken an approach of really practically experimenting with quantum technologies and testing ideas about how they're going to be used by the soldier. Some examples of use cases Army has identified through experimentation is the use of quantum sensors to find landmines at greater speed and scale compared to existing technologies. Another example is to enable Army vehicles and soldiers to have GPS-like positioning without the reliance on the GPS infrastructure, making them more resilient and more capable. Quantum technology is identified as a core part of our national strategy and our defence strategies, and rightly so. These are technologies that offer leap ahead capabilities to not only deliver on assured security for the country, but also new economic prosperity. For defence to be successful in quantum technology, it needs to join up all the different parts, which is universities undertaking research and the development of new technologies, to new industry, who are the engine room of commercialising those new technologies, to establish industry who can produce but also integrate those technologies, all the way through to the warfighter who receives those integrated technologies and uses them. It's partnering across all these domains which will make defence successful in quantum technology.